Well, Noel, thank you very much for that. I think what that is is a polite way of saying that I'm the warm-up act, um, and then we move on to the main event afterwards. But I particularly wanted to be here. I was delighted to be asked, um, because uh, I think it is clear, and in fact, as later on we are going to see a discussion document, a white paper. I'm not quite sure what the official designation is going to be. It is clear that sustainable tourism is something which is not only important and morally right, it's also something which is um, commercially sensible as well. And I particularly wanted to be here to therefore applaud both the work of the, your organisation, the Travel Foundation as a whole, but also to applaud this particular uh, initiative which you're undertaking this year too. Uh, there's a huge track record which you're building up of successful projects all around the world, not just here in the UK, showing what can be done. And one of the things about I have observed in two years as the tourism minister, I understand incidentally that I'm one of the longest serving tourism ministers there is, which just shows that if you start off with a low, goal, low bar, you can exceed it easily. Um, but what I have observed in those two years is that sustainable tourism is something which everybody talks about. Everybody says it's a wonderful thing. Everybody speaks in warm words of. But doing it is difficult and is awkward, but is incredibly rewarding. And it is not because people don't want to do it. It's because quite often they don't know how. And therefore, equipping people with the tools, the intellectual understanding, and pointing at the different uh, technologies and so forth out there that can be harnessed in order to achieve this aim is a very important, a very practical step to move from wishing to doing. In that respect, I think it is rather like where we were a few years ago with accessible tourism, where, again, people know it's important, want to do the right thing, but in, in many cases don't quite know how to get it done. And therefore, it's vitally important that we have the Travel Foundation and other organizations like it making sure that we are pointing at good examples and setting good examples for the industry as a whole to follow. And it's not just as well that we need to appeal to people's better nature, although that is effective and it works and it's worth doing because this stuff is important and it is morally right to do. But we don't just have to do that. The reason why this report, which we're going to be seeing later on, is so important is because, it, as I said, it proves that you don't, it isn't just a question of better nature. It's also a question of hard-headed commercial sense as well. You can, if you like, do well by doing good. And that is a very, very compelling argument for a broader range of people across many, many industries um, than just those who will be motivated by an appeal to better nature. I have here an early copy. This is the austerity version because it's in black and white. But you will all see a, a, a more full color version later on this, morning, uh, later on this afternoon. Um, and I hope that you will find it compelling and that the industry as a whole will find it compelling. This is the moment when, ladies and gentlemen, we can show people that this is something which will add heads in beds and bums on seats who will do good for their bottom line as well as saving the planet. And that, I believe, is a magic combination, a, a wonderful sweet spot. And it means that it becomes, if we were in any doubt about it before, and I suspect everybody in this room was not, but more broadly, if there was anybody out there who was in any doubt that this stuff must be, should be, really is already mainstream, then I think this report will help to make sure that we dispel any remaining doubt. So I'm delighted to be here. Delighted to be supporting what I believe is some very, very important years. Nine years so far, nine years, ten, year, well, ten, years, old, uh, ten years next year, um, and goodness knows what you're going to do at that point to cap what you've already achieved in your first nine years. But tremendously important uh, work that has been done so far, tremendously important work that still remains to be done. You are prophets, you are proselytizers, you are people who need to go out there and enthuse and convince the rest of the industry to get on board, to join the bandwagon, to get with the program, think whatever phrase you like. But we are part of a mission here, ladies and gentlemen, and we have to make sure that the word is spread far and wide. Don't use the austerity copy. Use the full color version. It's hugely compelling. Make sure everybody knows about it. And in due course, with any luck, by the time we get to 10 years, the word will have been spread still further. Thank you very much. I look forward to your AGM.